Hello and welcome back to EV Swap. I'm Jimmy and I'm a car enthusiast. I love cars of all types, but here at EV Swap, we take cars that are gas and convert them to electric. Let me show you the new updates on the Frontier this week. But firstly, I got myself a new welder. So I got myself a Miller 180 and I bought it used on Craigslist and it included this spool gun for aluminum. So I could run the same spool gun on my other Miller, but I decided just to get a second welder it was really cheap on Craigslist. Plus, there's quite a bit of setup change to run the aluminum spool gun on my other Miller. So to go back and forth between them would be kind of a lot of work. Also, it needs different gas uh, than the, the other Miller does. So I need to get, I had to get a second bottle of gas. So it made sense just to get a second welder. So this is my dedicated aluminum welder and this will be my dedicated steel welder. So real stoked on that. We can get started on that battery box. Um, otherwise, we've been doing a little bit of work to the body, like the, uh, some of the small, hard to see things. Like I got some brackets from the junkyard to hold things. We got the inner fender liner installed. We're gonna get the, the guards installed soon. And we got the um, fender liners on the rear. Also, you can see we got some brand new Bilstein shocks. So those are really sweet, made in Germany, you know, super high quality Bilstein chalk. So the handling on this truck's gonna be top notch. Also, Dave's gonna get some new tires ordered. Um, the wiring is just about complete. I think I only have like three or four wires to actually hook up somewhere. So this pigtail here goes to the battery and it's long enough to go back to where the battery's gonna live but um, we're gonna use it to test the battery. So next week, I'm gonna take the battery as it sits now and we're gonna plug it into the truck and we're gonna power everything up and see if we can spin the rear tires, make sure all the systems work, uh, make sure the battery health looks good and do all the live system checks. That way we know that the truck is good and when we convert, start taking the battery apart and putting it in a new battery box. Um, if something doesn't work when we get it back together, we have a place to look um, and vice versa. If we plug this brand, this uh, factory battery into the truck and things don't work, then we know it probably has to do with the truck and not the battery. So that's the logic there. So we're got the transmission oil in the transmission. We checked the rear diff. It actually has like brand new oil in it. Before they pulled the motor out, they must have put new oil in the diff. So that's all good. And uh, like I said, hopefully next week, we'll have a video of it spinning its rear tires. So I'm super excited for that. Also, we got back from the paint guy for my 1982 UM Electric. We got some paint samples. So this is the metallic brown, or light brown. There's the paint code. And then this is the darker color, the darker brown. And there's the paint code for that one. So I'm real stoked on these. Uh, they look just amazing out in the sunlight. They used a special camera that they put up against the paint. They found some good um, representative sections inside the door jam where it's been hidden from the UV. And so they got some good representative paint samples and I think they look spot on. They just look amazing. So um, hopefully they're gonna get it in the paint booth soon and I'm gonna have them go ahead and spray it two-tone. So the top half will be the light color and the bottom half is gonna be the darker brown. Um, I'm just gonna have them paint it like that. And then the stripes we'll do in vinyl. But uh, I, I think it's just gonna look so cool. I can't wait to get that thing back. So that's the updates on the Frontier. Another week in the shop. Hopefully next week we're gonna get the wheels spinning on the Frontier for the very first time under electric power. So thanks again for watching. Hit the thumbs up if you like it and subscribe. If you think that you have some friends that might like this content, please uh, share the video with them. That's the best way to grow the channel. Thanks for watching.